Well, I'm gonna try. Let's, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and get going. Might get these moon shrubs. And then be on our merry way. Evil Deeds, White Rock City. Um. I want to see what we get uh, when we do both. However, that's a long trek, in all honesty. You know what? Uh, we have the artifact. Uh, okay. What do we get for returning? Hmm. Doesn't really say. Unless, hold on. Oh, okay, never mind. Ah, uh, yeah, not really saying. Ah! <clears throat> we're just, we're gonna return the... We're gonna give the scepter to the giant, dude. We'd have to go all the way back there. Okay, we can't teleport. It would take us six long rests. We do it fast, four long rests. That's no, still gonna take us a long rest either way, so. And we'll get to here. Uh, make a hard save, give it to the giant, see what it gives us. Am I really about to do a a long? <laughs> oh dear! I'm literally about to make a.
Yalma, here's the artifact you wanted. Ah, you have proved true allies of the giant. Whoops, I should have made a heart. I thought I could get a little bit close. I thought I could get a little bit closer. Oh, come on. Really? There's no auto save before? Wow. Okay. Well, whatever. Um. Are you tuned to this? No, you're not. That's basically what we need to do on that. Great. I thought there was auto saves. Apparently not. I did look at this. Yeah, remarkable crossbow bolts. You know, I'm not gonna worry about the plus two arrows. Let's just go. Oh, wait, there was corpse here. Boop. Had some magnificent, had some items on them. And then send that over to both of these over to Dorian. And let's go. There's a good chance I might be buying some gamer subs. Because I'm actually really liking this. I don't know which one. I don't know which one I want. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know which one I want, but. And yes, we're about to do a. Uh... I'm going to make two saves, one called. Scepter decision. Uh, after this, we're going to go ahead and give the scepter to him. And then make a hard save there called giving the scepter to the giant. Yalma, here's the artifact you wanted. Ah, you have proved true allies of the giants. We shall not forget, and I shall call you friends from now on. As promised, gems for your resurrection spells. Thank you. We need Oh, to right. Go. Those are good. Oh, relations should improve. That might actually come in handy. We don't level up yet? Oh, yeah, we're just, it's going to be a while before we level up again. Okay, uh, making this save called... Giving to Giants. Then we're going to make a... Uh, <clears throat> and then we're going to load up Scepter Decision, and then we're going to make... And then we're going to travel all the way back... To 
All the way to uh, White Rock. White Rock City! Get the scepter to head on. See what we get from him. Eventually, we took a shortcut. Evil demons? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, young Remoraz. Since we're doing a test, I'm just gonna hide. Glad we spotted that, too. Yay! And sleep right outside the city. What? Oh well. In all honesty, I'm kind of tempted to just act uh, uh, for. Uh. No, I dropped some frames. Oh no, oh no. Uh, for awesome. Uh, pro I'm probably gonna end up g getting those resurrection gems, maybe. Clear skies, friend. Can we count on you for the vote then? Any news, Master Gorm? With the help of Master Goodshear, we clarified the threat that demons represent. We're all ears. Exonica the Traveler accidentally reached the demon realms. There she faced a very powerful being called Sethroth, the Arch Reaver. She retreated, but Sethroth followed her to Solasta using her own gate. Only with the help of her sister, Adrastea, the prudent shield, could she stop him. Sister? Explains how the ring opened Exonica's laboratory. Together, the dragons built a protection to keep Sethroth out of Solasta. He can travel from one plane to another, but cannot wander far from the gate when on Solasta. This protection is called the Palace of Ice. Alas, we do not know where it is. The notes suggest it might not even be on this plane of existence. But we saw demons in the whole territory of the Snow Alliance. I know. Somehow the palace has become... fallible. So does it have anything to do with the Pact of the Claw or not? So far, it seems the Speaker is the Guardian of the Palace of Ice. Well, it's pretty clear to me. No Guardian, the demons escape. This oh. makes it even more urgent to elect a speaker. We need to see the other clan chiefs. That is probably the best course of action until we know more. Stay in the light. Until next time, my friends. Oh. I think we have a new message from Beric Sunblaze. We should write him back, give some information about what we discovered. Uh, fastest way I'll probably be that book. Alright, so I already have the, uh, getting the scepter to the giant save. Let's see what we get out of this. We've got something for you. Ma 
And as promised, for you. That's intelligence. That's dexterity. That's strength. Thanks. It's always a pleasure to do business with you. We still don't like your empire very much, you know. But you like me. And that's all that matters. Fair enough. We need to go. As much as I want that book. I don't care. That's going to cost me reputation, so no. This is really good. Stuff is really good. Okay. This is after we give to the giant, so... Uh, Northern, uh, relationship with the Northern Clans faction have changed from 85 to 95. Woo! Northern Clans, uh, Northern Clans, we are now living legends! Oh, wow. Nice. And that's what we're looking for. Do do do. Now I don't have any. Uh... Any magical item that I want to create right now. Because I didn't get any more. Uh... Winter Wolves? Oh! Ambush! Getting some XP here. Okay, so there's... One, two, three, four, five, six... Okay, there's seven Winter Wolves. We had discovered now oh, whatever okay well anyways we'll go ahead and uh This might do it for us. Bada boom. <laughs> Sweet. And then Bardic Inspiration on Derek. All right, Derek. Um. I'm gonna boop, yep, boop in your snoot. Mm. 
Nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Dead. Surprised. Okay, then it's you. Go ahead and pull on up. Since we're since we're gonna be taking a long rest here, I'm just gonna go ahead and Uh, there's still this wolf. However... And I... Damn. I am unable to hit multiple targets on that one. Uh, however... No? Out of range! Rude. That is rude. So what can I hit him with? This does 8d6. This does also 8d6. This feels kind of sad. Move you over here and ow! Oh. I can only move or attack? I can only. Oh, well. That was rude. Alright, so I can't do an. Oh! Oh, I can. Oh, I can. Oh, it's not going to be able to hit him? Ah, well, whatever. We're resting anyway, so... Ah, Bard against Bow on Derek. Boop snoot. There's only one more wolf over here. Oh, well, okay. Sure. You have them now. That's as far as you can go? Oh.
Wait, hold on. There we go. Cannot target anyone. So now this spell felt real useless, but it doesn't matter. Well, this is turning out great. Oh, maybe I should have... Oh, well. Again. Just can't, can't seem to get there. Oh, he's dead now. Got it. Sweet. I really like spiritual weapon, but sometimes it's just like <clears throat> useless. Which make which I'm actually very interested in seeing how uh spiritual weapons gonna look in BG3. Actually pretty excited for that one. I'm excited to see how the monk works in BG3. Which again, as a reminder, will be one of the options. Uh for at last. It stopped snowing. Uh, what class I play? Between Bard, Paladin, Monk, and... One more, again, one more rest, right? Oh, yeah. A rest right outside the city. Oh, geez. I'm dropping frames. Like crazy here. What the hell's going on? I don't like that. Internet, what are you doing to me? Clear skies, friend. Can we count on you for the vote then?
Yeah, we can just skip all this.